Hello and welcome to Arsenal Crew. This is the match review of the 2-1 win against Liverpool. Sorry, one minute. I'm just getting through that we conceded in extra time um, from a set piece. So I could have guessed that really, but hey. So, um, can't, you're going to laugh, can't cry. But hey, um, let start really now. Um, this is the 2-2 draw. With Liverpool, um, it was a very, very poor performance from us, especially the first half. First half, we had no possession of the ball whatsoever. We just were not on the pitch. Um, every we, ha I think we only had one shot, and that was our goal that was on target. I think that was our only shot as well, and. They were running all over us, and personally, from that first half, we did not deserve to get anything out of that game. But the second half, we did pick it up just slightly. We did get more possession of the ball. But at the beginning of the second half, um, in the opening sort of five minutes, I think, it looked really positive from us, because if you watch it, we were closing down, we were putting them under so much pressure. And then after the... Um, after about the 50th minute, it just died down and it just completely flattened out and we just sort of let them have the ball and then it was sort of just, it was just, we just sort of lost what the edge that we had at the beginning of that half was that if you watch it, we were just pressing and it was just trying to get in there really quickly and then it just sort of died down for a bit and I can't really see why it should do that. But it did, and then we got one goal up. Really good goal, good passing movement from um, Kazola to Giroud. Um, and then in extra time, we lost it. And I'm sorry, but the Mertesacker, they pointed it out match of the day last night as well, and I'm going to point it out now. He's a wuss, honestly. Like, I love him as a person, like, he is an amazing person, but I don't love him as a footballer yes he has been a very good center back for us but i can't he's just lost it now and they're saying oh yeah it's the world cup but the world cup's over and it's been over for quite a while now so if it's the world cup then he's really going to get his head on straight because he seems to wuss out of um going up for head is just six foot six or six, whatever he is. I think he's six, yeah, he's six foot six. He's six foot six. He, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, he's six foot six. He should not be wussing out of headers like that. He doesn't even need to jump, but he sort of cowers away and gets out of the way of the ball. That goal that uh, Martin Skirtle scored. If he had jumped, he could have got his head straight in the way of that ball, and he'd have been fine. But he needs to just man up. Like, you're a big man. You need to just man up and head the ball out of the way. And, like, Skirtle, he proves what Mertesacker is lacking. Skirtle gets his head smashed in and carries on playing and doesn't care. And he always gets his head smashed in because he always goes in for hard tackles. He doesn't care if he comes out worse. But it seems like Mertesacker doesn't want to go in for those hard tackles. He seems too scared to go in for them. He needs to just go in for them because that's what we need. We need a new centre-back and we need a new centre-defensive mid. And a lot of people were saying when we want a new centre-back, we want one that will be backup. Personally, I think we need someone that will replace Mertesacker and make Mertesacker backup. It's as simple as that. Koscielny, I, he, is a re I, he is our best centre-back. Well, he's our only centre-back apart from Mertesacker. But he is one of our best centre-backs that we've had recently. And he is, and I think he needs a better partner than Mertesack. Yes, they had an amazing season last season together, but they've just, Mertesack has just lost his edge now. I don't know what it is. If it is the World Cup, then the World Cup's ruined him, but he didn't really spend much time in the thing. He came on for, what, a couple of minutes in the final? Not much to really shout about. Yes, you won it, and it's an amazing achievement, but you've got to get over it um, now. It's just stupid. So I think we need to get a centre back to replace Mertesacker, um, and we need a centre defensive mid. Which, if Wenger does not get the two of the two players in those positions, then 
the season's lost completely. Our defence is just every time I watch a match and the other team attacks, I just get so worried that we're going to concede because it seems like every time they attack, they're going to score because our defence is just so shocking. It's unreal and we need to sort that out. And we've got the perfect opportunity in January. And Wenger's saying, oh yeah, I'm not scared of spending. Yeah, you can talk the talk, but walk the walk. Because honestly, he needs to start showing that he is. Yeah, he sort of buys one world-class sign in a year in the summer transfer window. So in 11 years' time, we'll have 11 world-class players. But by that time, the first couple will probably be retired. So then, if he keeps on going at the rate that he's going at, we'll never have a world-class side. It's as simple as that, if you think about it. One world-class player every year. 11 players on the pitch, so we have to have 11 years before we get a full team, plus on substitutes, if we need world-class substitutes to come on and make the difference, so that's over that time, maybe 15 years, so in 15 years time we will have a fully world-class team, but then most of them will be retired at the beginning, the first couple, so he needs to kick his, get his arse into gear really, personally, it's as simple as that. Um, but it's just, I don't really want to talk about it because it's just getting ridiculous now. Like last season we had a really good season, we won the FA Cup, every um, Arsenal fan thought this would be the turning point and it seems like we've it's it's got worse. Like I don't even see, couldn't see how that was possible. We've got to sh- shut out the chances of winning the league, um, that's long gone from us now. I think we wouldn't be able to catch up with Chelsea and Man City. It's as simple as that. Um, um, the way we're playing at the moment, if we don't get in considerable players in the January transfer window, we're not going to get Champions League for the first time in se- 17 years. I forgot now. Whatever. Yeah, so they it needs to get sorted out. And I think Wenger's mentality of, yeah, we'll, sort, we'll deal with what we've got and we make do with what we've got doesn't really work for a so-called top team we are we always pride ourselves in saying that we are one of the greatest teams in the world but if he has that mentality of we'll make do with what we've got even though it's not working but we'll make do with it that's not what a great team is a great team is ruthless and you are intimidated every time you play them it seems like in the liverpool game they were just playing around us in the first half and we had no chance whatsoever. And it's stupid. We need to get that changed. And Wenger needs to just sort of just think, look, we, don't, we can't deal with what we've got at the moment. What we've got at the moment is not working. We need to be more ruthless in the transfer window and go, basically, there's a player I want. How much do they want for him? Oh, that's a bit much more than I was willing to spend. But hey, I need that player right now. Here you go. Slap the money down. Gone done sort it that's what all the big teams in england and chelsea some of their players that they bought like when diego costa was bought that sort of they seemed that that was a bit too much for him on the world cup performance but look how he's turned out you need to take a risk sometimes and literally just slap the money down and say that is that's what we need so i'm going to give you the money it's as simple as that but hey i'm not the manager i've never managed a, a game in my life but I think that's personally how I feel. Um, let me know, guys, how, how you feel. If you agree with me or if you disagree with me. And if you disagree with me, put in the comment boxes why you disagree with me. I'd like to hear from you guys. But, hey, let's say positive, as positive as we can. Um, I think it's QPR next. So, hopefully we can get all three points from there. But, uh, we should, in theory... Just walk over them, but nothing's a certainty in this season for Arsenal. But hey, right, so subscribe and like the video, comment on your thoughts of the game and stuff like that, and follow me on Twitter. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.